Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Wehrman here from the Kingsley United Methodist Church, and I am in the beautiful garden out by the village, by the library this morning, had a meeting, so I thought I would do my devotional from here. So again, we're using Susie Larson's book, Prevail. Don't know why it's backwards again, but I don't know what to tell you. It's one of those backwards kinds of day. And it is June 2nd, 2021. I think I told you that. So our devotional for today, I have to hold my camera and do this at the same time, is called, May God Remind Them and you. And our scripture reading comes from Genesis 41 verse 9. Finally, the king's chief cupbearer spoke up. Today I have been reminded of my failure, he told Pharaoh. So Susie writes, Joseph honored God and guarded his heart through every painful, unjust circumstance he endured. Remember we talked about Joseph sold into slavery by his brothers, favored by his father, um, ended up being put into prison, um, and uh, accused of um, uh, accused of a crime and then ends up being the number two in Egypt during a famine but we're still in the midst of him being thrown in jail and being accused of things he didn't do. Susie continues one day while in prison God used Joseph to interpret dreams for the cupbearer and the baker. Joseph, interesting how the man with a dream helped others to interpret their dreams. Joseph asked the cupbearer to remember him when God restored him to his position. But he forgot all about Joseph until a later time. So uh, Joseph interprets this dream for the cupbearer who then is going to take it to the king and the cupbearer again forgets about Joseph and doesn't get him out of prison for being unjustly accused. But he eventually does. It says um, uh well, that's spoiler alert, but you can read Genesis 41 and you'll find out for yourself. Susie says, you've no doubt crossed paths with those who've witnessed and confirmed God's gifts in you. Maybe they promised they'd help you and open doors for you, yet you've heard nothing from them. <laughs> yes, this is true. Pray for those people today. Ask God to remind them of their words to you and trust God's perfect time and grace in your life. He is faithful. Though men sometimes, though men sometimes forget, he, God, never will. Remember, too, that Jesus constantly called greatness out of others. He saw them not for where they'd been, but for who they could be if they followed him. May you do the same for others. You have a position of influence. So um, if you see goodness in other people and um, tell them about that, let them know that that's a gift, and then let them start using that gift. And then if God calls you to help them, use that gift in a way that expands their gift to reach more people for God, then do that. Don't forget about them. And if you have been forgotten about with whatever it is that God has gifted you with and you feel like you just are depressed or God's not using you or you can't fit into a ministry or whatever it is, you know, you feel forgotten at work, you feel um, left out, pray to God for the people that can help you um, expand your territory, expand your area, and um, that will happen. Maybe not right away. It didn't for Joseph. He had to stay in prison a little bit longer until finally um, he interprets another dream for the king and then he gets out and is put in, put in second in command in Egypt. So read Genesis 41, 8 through 13 today. Susie writes, who can encourage you today? Help someone succeed today. Move them forward in their God-given calling and trust that God will remind your cupbearers of your God-given gifts at just the right time. So who can you encourage today? Sometimes we get so caught up in our own discouragement and you know the fact that nobody's helping us, nobody's doing anything for us, and um, you know, just get with God and um, you know, understand that sometimes it's your job to help others, to help them succeed and encourage them. And as you do, God will encourage you. So here's our prayer for the day. Lord, I seem to fall into one of two extremes. I either forget to dream because I'm consumed by my problems, amen, or I'm consumed with my dreams. I forget to help others achieve theirs. Use me to help others today and remind others to remember me when it, the time is right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So be an encourager today, even if you don't feel like it, because <laughs> God will use that. And then pray to God to help others encourage you if you need that as well. And he will bring you someone. Might not be today, but it might be down the road. All right, I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.